Soup's on. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Bubba. This time it's the Alice Street Antique Market in Waterford, Ontario. There are three storefronts, and it's in the historic old downtown area of this town. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And as we go inside, they have some showcases with some interesting items in them. That's the street that you can see there. Uh, if you're looking for Pyrex, they've got some of that there. Some vintage clothing and the uniforms. Military uniforms are also included in these. Some of them may actually qualify as antiques. Lots of, lots and lots of items. There are some jewelry as well. And toys. The, one of the proprietors actually has substantial uh, offering of antique and vintage toys. They are located in a number of portions of the store. There's just small sampling of them. Besides that, you have some furniture, uh, decor items, guitar, as you can see there, glassware, lamps, light fixtures. I'm pretty sure they probably have some tools somewhere as well. Some of the uh, toys are of such a uh, high value that they lock a lot. And here we have a binocular microscope. Classic old one. And they have crystals and geodes and uncut semi-precious stone. Fossils, uh, stone f fossils. Interesting, they had these pieces from Thunder Bay. I've been to the mines there. They're quite interesting to see. There is some work to actually removing the, uh, the oxide layer from the surface of the the um, amethyst. Some more of the toys. Some of them are new in box. And then we get into some of the antique furniture and home fittings that looked like a Hoosier cabinet and a glass showcase, china case, and another one. So the store is set up on the inside as three diff different stores that you travel through in each one. The one you enter into is the middle one. And here we see something that, to me, it reminds me of, but it isn't exactly like a Mondrian, but a nice piece of art in any case. Here's the uh, details on it. And then a cigar box that was uh, humorous, let's say, considering their cigars are made in Dominican Republic in that case. They had some uh, leather bags, some more of the toys. So you enter into the store from the middle of the three stores and the middle one connects at the front and the back 
to the one on the west side. The one on the east side is uh, accessed only near the front and is a couple of steps up. There are a couple of steps to enter into the store in the first case. case. Yeah, we have a, a, a late model of the Northern Telecom phones uh, when they had to start competing with um, everybody else when they get, got the modular phone phone plugs installed. Here's the uh, the soup container no, soup bowls typically used with um, French onion soup. They'd float, they'd place the cheese and melt it on top. Now this is a classic piece of toy. It was a, uh, a Davy Crockett top. Here's some of the tools. A nice old ruler, fold up. And a whole selection of a variety of uh, saws and grips and so on. There's some of the uniforms. Not one, there's quite a few. And the hats or caps that went with them. This is a, uh, from the, the Indian subcontinent, if I remember right. This reminds me of French, but I'm not sure if it is. I'm not a specialist in that area at all. Some more recent vintage ones, I think, there. And this RCYC's Royal Canadian Yacht Club. Toys, these, they had a quite a selection of model railway. They also had model cars, hockey, the small Stanley Cups. These are close to garden scale size or they may only be, oh, I can't remember at this point. I wasn't close enough to actually, I didn't want to get them down. Um, those are certainly some O scale there. They did have some H, O, and N as well. And the good old Lionel's. O and three, if I remember right. They weren't quite O and they weren't full size O in other words. Here you see the uh, Stanley Cups for the various teams in miniature along with other memorabilia. Oh, some other action figures as well, not just hockey there. And some other uh, accessories that went with the trains. They had this interesting poster with, I think it had um, a plane of uh, trading cards for the individuals. A classic piece of furniture from a beauty salon. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Um, cream sugar, two cups, and a pot. And a very nice radio. I won't comment on the prices because I don't know the prices on those items. Some other classic pieces. Well, hope you enjoyed this. It's another different tour. Uh, appreciate if you give us a like and a subscribe and maybe even a tinkle on the bell so you know when the next ones are being posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.